Israelites, now that you know how to pray effectively, what is happening after prayer? Once you pray an effective prayer, both the kingdom of darkness and the most high respond to your prayers. A great battle is taking place behind the scene. The kingdom of darkness wants to deceive you and the most high wants to deliver you and bless you. When you pray an effective prayer, Satan will do everything in his power to block you from receiving your deliverance. The Bible says Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Satan will stand before the Most High and accuse you day and night. If he has a legal right to oppress you, the Most High will honor all covenants. For example, let's say John have a problem with lust. The spirit of lust have a stronghold in his life. John prayed an effective prayer seeking deliverance from the spirit of lust. After praying, John continues to allow the spirit of lust to tempt him. Satan will say to the Most High, I have the right to oppress John. Here is the covenant agreement John made with the spirit of lust. Since the spirit of lust have permission to oppress John, Yah cannot cast the spirit of lust out of John. Satan will remind the Most High of the numerous occasions John allowed the spirit of lust to have his way with him, enabling John from receiving deliverance. Remember, Israelites, Yah's words will not return to him void. It will do the very thing he sent it to do. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Yah has given us dominion on earth. In order for an unclean spirit to oppress us, it needs our permission. The kingdom of darkness has several ways to attain permission from its victim. The only way the Most High can intervene on your behalf, you have to establish a covenant with him. Confess and repent of your sins. The Most High know the intent of your heart. If you are serious about being delivered, the Most High will help you achieve deliverance. Yah will begin to show you where you're falling short. When he reveal your weakness, he wants you to break the covenant agreement you made with the kingdom of darkness. To break the covenant, you must confess the sins, denounce the covenant made, and repent. Repentance is completely turning away from the sin that is causing your downfall. Once you cancel the covenant and resist the devils, you will petition the Most High once again for deliverance by praying an effective prayer. Now that there is no covenant between you and the kingdom of darkness, now the Most High has permission to deliver you. When you prayed an effective prayer by using the word of Yah, you have established a covenant with the Most High, granting him access. The Most High will honor your prayers and begin the deliverance process. When you are aligned with the Most High, he will bless you. The scriptures reveal to us no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. After you pray an effective prayer, know that Satan will stand before the Most High to accuse you. Make sure you examine yourself and denounce every single covenant you made with the kingdom of darkness. Even if the covenant was made many years ago, denounce and cancel it. Israelites, everything the Most High is going to do for you, he has already done. Now that you have aligned yourself with the word of Yah and Yah cannot release the blessings to you, praying an effective prayer is like withdrawing your blessings from the heavenly places to manifest in the physical realm. When you pray an effective prayer, Yah respond by sending his angels to give you the answer. The Holy Spirit that dwell in you will begin to prompt you of the affairs of the Most High. Your dreams will begin to increase. If there are any barriers holding your blessings, the Most High will show you what they are. Yah want you to deal with those barriers before he can release the blessings to you. What you have to do, Israelites, is use discernment to follow the instructions of the Most High coming from the Holy Spirit. For example, let's say you prayed and asked the Most High for a mate. 
You begin to have dreams of you getting married or starting a relationship. You have to discern if the dream stems from the most high or the kingdom of darkness. When you pray an effective prayer and Yah decide to release the blessings to you, Satan will try to challenge the blessing and find a way to intercept that blessing. Satan is an impersonator. He will imitate everything the Most High does to deceive you. This is when the counterfeits will start to appear. If you're asking the Most High for a mate, Satan will send several imitators to deceive you. The woman that was out of your league will begin to like you. The good-looking man that never paid attention to you will begin to come in the dozens. Israelites, you better do as the scriptures state. Test their spirit to see if they're of Yah. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. In due time, their behavior will reveal the kind of fruits they are producing. Do not ignore the red flags. If you do, you will be miserable. The marriage covenant is binding until death do you part. Do you want to be miserable until your mate die? This is why it is important that you know the voice of the Most High. After an effective prayer is prayed, a lot is happening behind the scene. The reason I started this series with the voice of Yah, it is important that you know his voice because when he is speaking and responding to your prayers, you have to be able to understand what he is saying to you. If you do not know his voice, you will conclude Yah did not hear you and he did not answer your prayer. In addition, you will begin to believe your prayers was ineffective. Israelites, it is important that you learn our Elohim's voice so you can receive his instructions on how to claim the blessings he has released to you. What happens after a prayer, the Most High will release the blessings to you if you are aligned and ready to receive. The Holy Spirit will begin to give you instructions on the steps to take to retrieve the blessings or deliverance. The scripture states the steps of a good man are ordered by Yah. Following the guidance of the Holy Spirit is how the Most High order your steps. The angels will be assisting you behind the scenes. If you follow the instructions and do not deviate, you will retrieve the blessings that was released to you. In a perfect world, Israelites, that is how it would be. Unfortunately, we have an enemy called Satan, his angels, and his human agents that make it their life goal to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Satan and his angels have nothing to lose. They know their fate. They want to make your life as difficult as they possibly can. They will try to find ways to challenge the blessings to steal it from you. Satan will not sit around and watch you be blessed. Satan will do everything that he can to block you from receiving those blessings. This is why it is important that you use discernment, Israelites. After an effective prayer is prayed, Satan will use all of his methods to try to steal your blessings and stop you from being delivered. Satan will use his human agents, unclean spirits, and his fallen angels. The unclean spirits that call you their house is not going to sit around and allow you to evict them out of their house. They will fight you and make it difficult for you to retrieve the blessing and maintain your deliverance. Without you, they cannot manifest their will in the physical realm. They will fight to maintain their influence over your life. The scriptures reveal to us in the Gospels of Matthew what happens when an unclean spirit is cast out of a person. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation." Do not be afraid if you notice you have desires to indulge in habits that you believe the Most High delivered you. The unclean spirits hiding behind those habits is tempting you to reestablish a covenant. The demons want you to believe Yah did not answer you and delivered you. Israelites, it is important after an effective prayer, you guard your mind. The kingdom of darkness will bombard your mind with all kinds of negativity. They will say your prayers did not work. You do not know how to pray. Make you become impatient with Yah's timing. Make you believe they were not cast out by repeatedly tempting you. 
They will give you all kinds of negative thoughts to confuse you. They will give you thoughts that will make you challenge the power and sovereignty of the Most High. The scriptures instruct us to cast down every imaginations that rise against the knowledge of Yah. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Israelites, you must shut down those thoughts and counter the negative thoughts with praise and worship. Read the word of Yah to deepen your faith. In addition, pray against those negative thoughts. Satan has his satanic pastors, teachers, prophets, evangelists, and many other leaders in the pulpit every Sunday or the Sabbath to talk about the same thing repeatedly to keep you ignorant. Being ignorant to the devices the kingdom of darkness use against you do not exempt you from being attacked. Israelites, the scripture said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Did you hear the scripture? Yah did not say sin destroyed his people. The scripture said my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The scripture also say Yah's people reject knowledge. Since you reject knowledge, Yah will reject you. Knowledge is important, Israelites. Without it, you will remain defeated. The reason to why sin will not destroy you, but a lack of knowledge will, sin is the end result of your ignorance. The fact that you do not know the consequences of sin is death, that is what destroyed you. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For example, let's say Tracy decided to give in to her lustful flesh desire and fornicate with the man she barely knew. As a result to fornicating with the man, she ended up with a deadly STD. Fornicating with the man she barely knew did not destroy her. The fact that Tracy did not know the man had an STD, that is what destroyed her. Tracy's lack of knowledge of knowing his status destroyed her life. If she had the knowledge of his status prior to fornicating, that knowledge would have saved her life and prevent Tracy from catching a deadly STD. The scriptures state, through knowledge will the just be delivered. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. The scriptures state, through knowledge will the just be delivered. It did not say through repentance, but knowledge. Israelites, if knowledge would deliver you, it would make sense to inquire as much knowledge as you possibly can to live. Too many Israelites are being destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Satan know that you do not have the knowledge that you need to fight him properly. He used that against you. The kingdom of darkness through your dreams is defeating a lot of you. Since the Christian church never spoke to you about the spirit realm, you lack this knowledge and as a result you are perishing. Nobody is going to fight for you if you want to be delivered. This is something you have to do. Inquire the knowledge needed to achieve your goals. After you pray an effective prayer and you begin to have dreams, many people mistake the dreams that stems from Satan are from Yah. They establish covenants with the kingdom of darkness. Most Israelites lack knowledge on how to interpret the symbols given to them in their dreams. Satan used their ignorance against them and successfully delayed their deliverance. Get wisdom, Israelites. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Once you acquire the knowledge needed, you will no longer be destroyed. You will use the knowledge gained to combat your enemies. No one will be able to stop you from elevating spiritually. You will be going from glory to glory to glory. If you've been listening and learning from this series, you are gaining the knowledge needed to properly fight and live. Do not despise knowledge, Israelites, nor the person Yah is using as the mouthpiece to give you understanding. The Israelite community seems to have a problem with Yah using women to bring forth his instruction to his people at this time. Do not let Satan deceive you. Satan is only telling you there is a problem to prevent you from getting the information needed to fight him properly. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet to Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. 
and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Israelites, after you pray an effective prayer, do not give up. If your situation appeared to be getting worse, that is the kingdom of darkness fighting you back. They will try to discourage you to give up. Keep fighting and stand firm. Trust your Elohim. While you are waiting for the Most High to deliver you, praise the Most High and worship the Most High in the middle of your affliction. By worshiping and praising the Most High, you will confuse your enemies. You will also gain the strength you need to continue to fight. You are building up your spirit and your faith in the Most High will increase. Continue to pray. Saturate your prayers with the scriptures and establish multiple covenants with the Most High. The scriptures instruct us to pray all kinds of prayers in the spirit. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Keep praying and keep seeking the most high. When you seek the most high, you will find him. Believe the most high for everything you're asking. Do not let doubt hold you back from receiving what you want. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, Believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Remember, the Most High will grant you the desires of your heart. Trust the Most High's timing. If you miss your season, ask the Most High to realign you to retrieve what is rightfully yours. Make sure you pay attention to what is happening around you. Be alert. Not knowing what to do after a prayer can result in unanswered prayers and you unconsciously canceling your prayers. Israelites, Give Yah time to show you his glory. But we are with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord.